Well, here we are. Welcome to another video. Dude, this is crazy. Look how, like, clear the water is. Then the river, this little pond area. That's, like, the kind of dirty area with the island. The beach right there. And then the docks. A bunch of, like, canoes that you can use. Dude, this is crazy nice. Okay, guys, so welcome back. I am out of town. Um, so in my last video, if you haven't watched it, because you probably haven't watched it if you're a, a not a subscriber. So this scooter, I have to say, it is one of the cheapest scooters I've ever, like, actually seen. That was quick, reliable, and strong. So now I will reveal the scooter right now. So this scooter is called the Volpam. It's kind of confusing. I mean, it really only has one name. Like literally it says Volpam right there. So um, features about this scooter. So it is on right now. So even though my, that's the display right there. Uh, it has, so Sport, you can see it's kind of like pink red. There's Eco mode, it turns white. And then there's also a drive mode and there's some kind of pedestrian mode and you double tap to change each setting then for one tap it turns on the lights and three taps doesn't do anything so right here you've got your thumb throttle uh right here this is not a throttle at all because this has a folding latch so how you use the folding latch is push up pretty much and then uh, pull the lash down and you fold it over and pretty much clip this thing right onto there so uh, with the whole light settings it's just one light in the front and then one light in the back then uh, when you press the brake the back light blinks so this scooter pretty much has uh, the just normal um, cheap scooter just like wire brakes the bell and then this one has an extra feature has turn signals so when you turn that and then it's only on the bars so if i turn it the opposite way it's gonna do the same so yeah that's all the features on the bar of the scooter now more details about the scooter's look and performance is that it is front wheel drive which if you drive back wheel uh, back wheel drive scooters um you're usually used to the scooter pushing you but instead you kind of got to get used to pulling you but you get used to it very quickly so these scooters since they have the holes in them um they pretty much are inflatable it's just a one-piece tire um then it's got suspension on each side then the suspension fork in the front so it's got full-on suspension um, I will reveal more details about that later. But, so then, the throttle works. It's on sport. Um, you can change the setting from MPH to KMH. Um, I'm not exactly sure how. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's just get to riding the scooter, I guess. Because this is going to be one of my shorter videos. So the reason why this is going to be one of my shorter videos is because I literally did a full review in my last video when I did the Amazon versus Costco cheap electric scooter challenge. And so, um, I don't know if it's the winner yet because most of my viewers have not tried out the poll yet, but, um, is this a trail? No, nah, it's not a trail, it's just an opening. Um, so most of my subscribers haven't done a poll yet, but I have gotten like eight or nine votes and people are like three fourths of the people are voting for the Volpam for some reason. And, um, I don't know why it's a more expensive scooter. So I'm just going to say good things about the scooter. I'm not going to talk garbage about the other scooter because I love both of them. Like, they're both great quality scooters for being so cheap. But, like, pretty much the thing is with it is that 
um, but Phantom is more expensive even though you get back wheel drive and stuff it has a nice display it just has like a cool look and stuff this just has more speed uh, the battery life is the same but it just has more speed um, just pull suspension and turn signal so those are kind of the features that you want for your scooter mainly because um, I had a comment in my post saying the Volpam scooter because it has full suspension then um, it's got like full suspension and has uh, turn signals which not many uh, he said not many like commuter scooters have turn signals and that's very true because only one of the nine bots has turn signals come on scooter yeah so i'm doing this scooter on off-road i have no idea i mean dude i'm in the woods so yeah right now i'm out with family and friends Okay, I guess this is the dead end of that trail, so I'm just going to turn around and go back. Actually, I don't think it's the dead end. Just, just super grown out. I don't think people have used this trail for a while. Okay, let's use our turn signal for this. Even though it's daytime, you can't really even see them unless it's like in a darker area. So I forgot which exactly scooter it was. It says... uh in the video I'm gonna post a or edit a picture into of the comment into the video thank you I forgot who but whoever commented and guys thank you so much for 100 subscribers I'm so thankful that I actually made it there in a couple of months I didn't ex I only expect me to right now because I've been in YouTube for six months now um, Please subscribe if you yet haven't but um thank you for my 100 subs so far dude this is a rough path suspension is working all it can but it's still super bumpy so this is smooth road right now because i just drove through half of the camp so so far this trip I went to the beach. So yeah, uh, this is the beach. That's the ocean. What I'm sitting on is called a rock. That's a pond. And then this stuff over here, right here, is called sand. And then the stuff in the pond is called water. It would make it 10 times better if I had a sewer. No, I wish, I wish. I went kayaking. But the best part of all of it is that I get to bring this. So, uh, I just press and hold the throttle and then there's cruise control on this right now. So I'm not pressing the throttle, it's just going full speed by itself, full throttle, even though it's uphill. So yeah, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna pause to eat breakfast because I just heard the breakfast bell in the background. So. Um, I'm still gonna be in the video while we're riding down, don't worry. I'm not gonna leave just yet, but I'm still gonna come back. Um, well, so far this trip, the scooters have been a big help because everyone else has like bikes or something. There's an MX350 uh, stock, obviously stock, because it's like a five or six year old kid riding it. I'm on an MX350 wheelie. Bad. Let's see the top speed. Top speed. Top speed test. Let's go. 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 Come on, tiny little bike that I can barely fit on. Go. 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 Oh. These back brakes and brakes are amazing, dude. Okay, so, um, pretty much with this scooter, it's super just 
Okay, so uphill climb on gravel and bumpy road is not good because it just didn't climb up. If I kind of went in that area, so I'm going to see. So gravel was fail. Now let's see just bumpy road with loose gravel. And then gravel. No. Because that's the gravel. It climbed me all the way up. So gravel is a fail. So now let's see dirt. So smooth road obviously climbs you. But I want to see how dirt will do. <laughs> like, what the? Okay, so I guess dirt is a fail. But then... This bumpy gravel is good, and then gravel is bad, so I'm just going to keep it on cruise because it just kind of gives me a break. Uh, But, on smoother roads, this thing is, like, really enjoyable. Ah, uh, this place is actually pretty crazy. It's, it's small, but it's still great. This place, just talking about that. But, dude, this scooter is great. It's great for roads, it's great for everything. Uh, off-road, maybe just a little when it comes to hill climbing and stuff because dude i use a scooter at full charge it's already four bars but the range is still phenomenal but the suspension works out really well dude i have to say this is the best cheapest scooter i've ever bought i'm gonna see if i can find the link in the description a couple days after this video posts so finishing up this video uh please subscribe Thank you so much for watching. Um, please now get me to 200 subscribers now that I've reached my goal of 100. I'm still so thankful. I'm hoping by my one year mark I have about 200 subscribers. Uh, so please subscribe. It will really be helpful. I'll be doing giveaways like in my previous videos. I've actually done gift card giveaways. Wait, I've never seen this trail. Where does this go? But yeah, so this is just an amazing, like, just commuter scooter. It works really well. It's durable. So, um, a couple of days after the video posts, when I'm back in town, I'm going to, um, put a link in the description. So please come back to this video. And please comment what you like best about the scooter and what you didn't. Please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.